Hello everybody, Scott Golden here with the Pro Wrestling Logic channel and the Mid-South Wrestling Review series. Uh, and we are in the middle of uh, April two th uh, 1983, 2003, if only wrestling was this good in 2003. Anyway, um, big events happening today on this particular episode as Skandor Akbar announces his new tag team. That new tag team? None other than... The, uh, some members of the Rat Pack of Bourne and DiBiase, and so, uh, that's a pretty big thing for, uh, Akbar to have assimilated, you know, he's got, basically got the most powerful people in the area as part of his team now, and, uh, he wants to keep it secret first, but eventually does reveal that truth, and, um, we move rather quickly after that promo into a King Kong Bundy versus Kelly Kaniski match, and obviously Kaniski is going to take the fall, going to uh, drop the fall uh, over Bundy here. I mean, the heck, everyone's going to drop a fall to Bundy for the next several months, I would imagine. I'm, I'm up into the summer, either July or August, and uh, Mr. Bundy has not dropped a fall in a while. Has not dropped a fall yet, actually. Anyway, side headlock by uh, uh, Kaniski. Kaniski stumbling around after just a few moves from Bundy. Bundy does manage to uh, catch Kaniski and slam him almost like a sack of garbage. Anyway, uh, Bundy manages to pretty well manage to uh, get everything he wants on that and does a one-arm slam. We see the big splash, the demand for the... Uh, five count and uh, holding the referee in position for it and then the the uh, next match the junkyard dog and former WCCW world champion Bill Irwin um, Irwin relatively new here in and out on a regular basis it appears and um, suffice to say Bill Irwin facing the junkyard dog happy for the dog not happy for Irwin because just about anybody that fights the dog doesn't fare terribly well. Um, and uh, so, I mean, you see power struggle and, and dog gets a hit on the power advantage there. Um, you know, big several attempts at a top wrist lock and that really doesn't go well for Irwin either. Irwin manages to uh, get a hammer lock and uh, dog takes him down into... Headlocks, uh, Irwin does beat on the dog a little bit, beat him down with a few forearm shots and uh, shots in midsection, knees and the like, and um, uh, Irish whip, and uh, big back body drop, and again, uh, hard tackle, and uh, the pump kick, but the dog comes back from the pump kick, with a big clothesline, so kind of kind of killing uh, Irwin's finish there just a little bit. Big uh, thump slam. One, two, three, four. The Junkyard Dog. And the champions accept the challenge of the Rat Pack, or what remains of the Rat Pack, DiBiase and uh, Bourne, managed by Akbar. Uh, of course, the champions, Mr. Wrestling 2, and... Uh, um, um, Tiger Conway Jr., kind of an interesting tag team, if you're used to, if you're used to that. Uh, then we move to Butch Reed against uh, Frank Levent. Um, Butch Reed, of course, continues to be on the go and pretty aggressive, using power early in the match and usually, well, almost definitely throughout the match, as uh, Butch Reed, not a guy that's uh, willing to take too many backward steps, a uh, few medium-sized shots by Reed with uh, some forearms, and then he returns with more aggressive ones, a uh, short shot to the midsection, and a uh, front face lock by Reed. Reed manages to duck and gets a high cross body, almost overshoots the man, but doesn't quite overshoot him. Gets a near fall off the cross body, and Reed... Pulls the man up, tries to keep him down, and uh, ultimately 
we see Reed managed to uh, hold his position quite a while there. Reed with a double, kind of a double chop, double axe into the uh, midsection there and an Irish whip. Big uh, shoulder tackle. Jumps about ha at least halfway across the ring. One, two, three, Reed with your victory here. Ted DiBiase, Mr. Olympia versus Wrestling 2 and Tucker Conway Jr. Uh, as your next match, uh, the tag team champions against Akbar's new team. Interesting run there and obviously you know they are champions are willing to put the belts on the line against just about anybody uh dibiase losing duggan pretty well here in the next little while because of the run and mr olympia out there as well uh he's trying to cause a distraction olympia is the i guess new member of the well not totally new but newer member of uh akbar's stable and an atomic drop by conway jr followed by a knee lift by wrestling two and they are off to the races uh tag off and wrestling two manages to uh toss around his uh adversary here uh wrestling two and olympia of course going at it over the Issues with the mask and the uh, interference over the last several months. So their feud not finished. Interesting that Watt always manages to bring things back around, but not in a convoluted way and still tells the story, which is what announcers today do not do fully. Tells the story of uh, what led us here. Um, needless to say, DiBiase and... Olympia are a relatively new tag team, obviously not the same as Bourne and DiBiase, but um, interesting nonetheless. DiBiase, of course, been here since uh, our entire run thus far, and I, I don't know when he, I, I think he leaves for a little bit in the interim there. I don't think he does a full six-year run with Mid-South, although he may. Uh, Irish whip for D, by DiBiase, or on DiBiase, and uh, DiBiase brings up the Knees into the in, right into the face and uh, DiBiase kicking away. Tag off to Olympia. Olympia with a slam, double team, and a sledge right to the top of the head uh, by DiBiase. And uh, he's pretty well staying on. Uh, Conway Jr., who takes the majority of the match and also takes the majority of the punishment. Um, hot tag. Well, Lukewarm tag because it's it's poorly timed, but uh, wrestling two into the ring hits the post hard way, and uh, then DiBiase pulls his man out, big body slam there, and DiBiase heads to the uh, second rope on the inside, diving back elbow that he becomes famous for tag back to Tiger Conway Jr. Decent tag match if you want to go out of your way to see this, you wouldn't be doing yourself any major damage, and uh, roll through Conway. Olympia manages a kick and uh, catches him with what could have been a loaded boot there. Um, anyway, Olympia trying to stop Conway. Conway manages to drag uh, him back door in the middle of the ring, getting a sleeper on and uh, kind of a chin crusher. Double down situation, Olympia manages to get back to his feet just a fraction of a second ahead of Conway Jr. And uh, then we see uh, Mr. Wrestling 2 have enough. He comes into the ring and kind of continues that. And there is uh, interference potentially from the outside. Referee has lost all control. Big drop kick under the chin of by Olympia. And Olympia manages to get a pinfall. And a win. Uh, I don't know if this was a title or non-title match, but uh, we'll obviously follow up on that. Anyway, Art Cruz and Mike Jackson versus Kamala and Black Ninja Kendo, Kendo Nagasaki. Uh, this is not the African American Mike Jackson, so I did not know that there was a uh, multiple people with the same name. But um, anyway, um, Ninja and Kamala, another tag team. Kind of interesting that. Um, Akbar allowed to have 
multiple tag teams at the time. It just kind of seems odd that he's dominating the tag heel division, but maybe the thought is it's necessary to tell the story they want to tell. Anyway, um, uh, we see Nagasaki break the match down a little bit, slow it down, keep it slow, and uh, he punches away on either opponent, and obviously they don't bring Kamala in until a little bit later in the contest when they want to finish the match off. Some minor stuff by the baby faces, but nothing major there. Um, anyway, heels get your victory there. Randy Barber, Barber and the newly discovered, at least for this area, Rip Rogers. Rip, Rip Rogers wearing uh, purple trunks and being flamboyant, as he always would be throughout his training in uh, one of the last great trainers, honestly, um, in OVW. I think he still trains some. I don't know if he still is with the pandemic, but he was in the last couple of years. Um, John Cena, Randy Orton, and the list goes on and on. Brock Lesnar and all others in the Rip Rogers class at OVW back 10, 15 years ago, and he's continued to train. Uh, not much has come out of the school in the last few years, but... How much has come out of wrestling schools anywhere in the last five or ten years? Um, that the guys can't work, but less schools and less pride in the craft. Um, anyway, hard shot, and we see a fall backwards. Randy Barber in control of um, Rogers a little bit, and then we move to of an Irish whip across the ring. Uh, Rogers comes out of the corner. Rogers had wrestled, I believe, by this point in the Maritimes and other places, but probably becomes most known for that that Southern style um, in Tennessee and other places. And here in Mid South, and Rip Rogers really getting tossed around by Barber. Barber, honestly, an enhancement talent who doesn't do. A heck of a lot that I can seem to recall. Roll up by Rogers and gets a three count off a small package. Anyway, Tim Horner and Tony Zane are given the last couple minutes of the program. And I'm, by a couple minutes, I mean about two and a half. Um, nothing really gets accomplished in the match as uh, Horner comes up with a uh, several roll-ups, roll through. Horner tries to take the headlock, tries to take the head quite a bit. Zane, a little bit bigger, able to use things like shoulder tackles to knock down Horner. Corner, though, with drop toe holds, floats over and goes back to the head. Um, I mean, with less than two minutes, Horner's in control. They continue to try and get Horner over as a major star in the area, and Horner gets tied up in the ropes, so that doesn't go very well. A modified slam also doesn't get him where he wants to be, but with less than a minute and a half. In the program, we see a roll-up. Horner comes back with a drop kick and uh, manages to uh, keep things going in his direction, including a backdrop, tries to sit down with it. But the match ends without a winner, as is commonplace in the Mid-South region at the time. But uh, we will continue our foray into the Mid-South area here um, over the next little while continue to stay with us and um and uh we will we will continue april and in through hopefully at least part of the spring today um till next time keep your feet on the ground your mind in the moment